Did you know that we can use patterns to make a table of values? Yep, we can do it by using patterns. So, let's say we have this one flashlight and it uses two C size batteries. So how many batteries will we need for eight flashlights? We can make a table of values and for one flashlight we need two batteries, two flashlights, we fill in our table we can see that this one is counting by ones and when we figure out the other values the batteries are counting by twos. If one flashlight needs two batteries then eight flashlights will need 16 batteries. And we see the pattern that we multiply the number of flashlights by two. It needs two batteries for each one. See? So eight times 2 would be 16, 12 flashlights times 2 would be 24 batteries. See? Now what if each flashlight needed 3 batteries? Well, did you know that this table is input for the flashlights and output for the batteries? It would be like X is the flashlights and Y is the batteries. We're going to count by 1's here, for the flashlights, we're going to count by three for the batteries because they each need three. This is a table of values and it's also called a function table. And a function is a set of ordered pairs in which the first number corresponds exactly to the second number. So just like in this one, this first number corresponds to the second number, two to the four, three to the six. The rule here is multiply by 2, isn't it? So the rule here is going to be to multiply by 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is... This is going to be a 6, isn't it? See? For our first table, we can use the equation y batteries equals 2 times x, 2 times the flashlight. That's the batteries equals two times whatever number of flashlights we have. Well, for our second table, we can use the equation y equals 3x. The batteries are going to equal three times the flashlights. We can even say b for batteries and f for flashlights if we want. It's just in math, they use x and y a lot. They also use z a lot. But using this equation, y equals 3x, we can complete the second table. All right? So, we're going to multiply by 3. We're going to count by 3's. 3, 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 3 is 18. 7 times 3 is 21. And 8 times 3 is 24. See? We just followed the rule of times 3, and we can fill in the table. So, the rule for this table is multiply by 3, that's the function value. If we input a number, we multiply it by 3 to get our output. Now, these ordered pairs that they talked about, we know that the flashlights are X and the batteries are Y. We can even make the table going vertical like this. And here are X values and here are Y values. See? One flashlight would be three batteries. Two flashlights would be six batteries. We can write them as these ordered pairs. We always write the x value first, and then the y value. We'd have a one comma three, a two comma six. See? That's the ordered pairs. See how we're just taking it out of the table and putting them in parentheses with a comma in between them? So guess what? You're doing algebra. We talk a lot about functions in algebra, all right? So that's making a table of values. If you're doing your homework and there's a table and it's got a missing space, try to look at the pattern to figure out what the function is. What's going on? Is it multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting? And find the pattern, all right? Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time. Bye.